Here's how you can get your C16 fire protection contractor's license in California. This license allows you to lay out, fabricate, and install all types of fire protection systems, excluding electrical alarm systems. If this sounds like the type of work that you perform, first, consider the requirements. You must have at least four years of journeyman level experience in fire protection. Journeyman level is defined as the experience gained when an individual is no longer a trainee or apprentice, and that individual can perform fire protection work without supervision. If your experience has been limited to electrical alarm systems only, you may want to get licensed as a C10 electrical contractor. In addition to the experience requirements, you must be at least 18 years old. However, due to the four-year journeyman level experience requirement, we recommend applying for the C-16 Fire Protection Contractor License when you are 23 or older. The final requirement is to have a Social Security Number, or ITIN, Individual Taxpayer Identification Number. If you meet these requirements, you are ready to apply. As a student at Contractors Intelligence School, your course includes a detailed timeline which will guide you through the licensing process. Videos will be provided to guide you every step of the way, including how to fill out an application, scheduling your exam, instructions on completing the live scan fingerprinting, and details on any additional steps required by the Contractor State Licensing Board. To begin the process, fill out the state application, which our staff will review and hand deliver to the Contractor State Licensing Board for processing. Around a month after your application is submitted, a notice will be issued that your application has been processed and that you can schedule your exam. You'll be taking two state exams, the Law and Business exam and the Fire Protection Trade exam. The Law and Business exam focuses on how to run a contracting business, contracts, liens, employment, and so on. The Trade exam focuses on estimation, installation of underground fire main systems, installation of fire protection systems, maintenance, repair, etc. All questions are multiple choice. You will have a three and a half hour window to complete each exam. Both exams must be passed in order to obtain a contractor license number. Contractors Intelligence School will prepare you for these exams. While keeping your busy schedule in mind, our program is designed to be simple, time efficient, and guarantee success on your first try. Our course includes exam preparation videos which contain 3D illustrations and images for better comprehension. The reading material is carefully selected. We even provide audio courses for learning on the go. The practice tests combine the online, written, and the audio elements and include the ever-popular video explanations. You'll be able to access the course through our exclusive mobile app, giving you the flexibility to study anywhere. If you haven't signed up yet, you can create a free demo account and see what it's like to be a student. Check out the link in the description below. After passing both exams with the Contractor State License Board, you'll receive instructions outlining the final paperwork needed before a Fire Protection Contractor's License number is issued. Submitting this final paperwork and completing the final process can sometimes be tricky, but with our guidance, it couldn't be simpler. If you carry out all these steps, congratulations. You will be a licensed fire protection contractor. Now it's time to go out there and earn more money as your own boss.